What's up guys, this is Todd. Today I'm going to be commentating a game in which I'm facing Rhett and I have to face uh, a style we've been being used a lot more these days with the Swarm host and as you can see we're on close position on Frost. If he places uh, Swarm host, which he will in this area and claims the Watchtower, that makes it very very hard for a Protoss player to do anything else than just wait and defend against Locust, which is not the most effective uh, way to play against Swarmhost. So I'm going to be trying to introduce you guys uh, to a better way to deal with them with a lot of counter-attacks, some War Prism play and all that. So I'm not going to be focusing too much on my opener here. I go for the quick nexus and then I scout. I went for the gates, the standard gateway expand. I will wall pretty quickly to make sure I'm safe. And now I do spots with this quick hatchery that he went for a 3 hatchery before pull. So I know exactly where I'm at, I know around when he should be getting speed and I'm completely fine with it. I'm going to try to apply some pressure. But uh, with some good game sense he's going to be able to find that probe over here. So that's uh, something he's going to be chasing definitely. He could have just left one or two zerglings behind it but uh, chose to leave three. It shouldn't matter, I mean I'm not going to be able to, to kill that base regardless. I do as much damage to it as I can. I'm trying to force as, as many Zerglings early on as possible. A very important thing to do versus Zerg nowadays. You see, I've been able to keep up on the Walker count quite well. And now he, he even overcommits on Zerglings because he's very worried about this attack, which he should be because this is quite deadly. In the meantime, I'm going to be sending an Overlord in my main, see what's up. This is... Uh, you have to be careful. You cannot send everything to... All of, my, all of your sentries here to kill this. Always need to leave something in your wall, so that's exactly what I do. And now I saw he had, he had a lot of units. Now I'm in a weird situation because I can warp a lot of units there and then recall later. But what I choose to do is warp more units there to build up my sentry count, get some zealots to escort them, because I want these two armies to rejoin each other before he has roaches, so that I can claim the watchtower, move over here, possibly force fill some units and kill them, and force even more units out of him. So we're gonna see how this turns out. So I'm getting plus one uh, early on and upon killing his overlord I decided to do something that's usually it will almost never win you the game but sometimes it can give you a great lead. I add a few extra gateways so I go up to uh, seven gateways in total just to be able to warp in a lot of units over there and uh, put on even more pressure. That scout is very important here. With the first sentry that I warp if I don't have to force field I'm always gonna have uh, a hallucinated phoenix available early on and I want to see exactly what he's getting if he's keeping roaches or not if yes if he does keep roaches here you can get full zealots and go for an attack and do a lot of damage or maybe even finish your opponent so now I move out with this army I plan on rejoining this one and he's gonna move in with a lot of zerglings he basically he had completely anticipated this move and now with some decent force fields uh, I'm gonna be able to save a bunch of those sentries I do lose some of them with the one that was over there and this one but I did kill a lot of his zerglings but now he has roaches so he's able to defend against this quite comfortably so it's time to go home I didn't have to recall there obviously he's never gonna have speed at this time and as long as I'm off creep his roaches shouldn't be able to catch up to my zealot so I just pulled back and behind is a robo plus a twilight so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting plus two quite quickly very important and I'm gonna start working on a third base and now I know that he has already invested into quite some roaches and zerglings, so I have to be careful. If I let too many of these roaches get inside of my units now, I might lose the game right away. Uh, by losing too many sentries, it will just be disastrous to me. So I need to take a very cost-effective fight. So I'm going to lock the roaches away, let the links get in and fight this army off. Until I can reach enough warpings to make sure I can take this army head-on and trade, uh, still without losing my sentries. And remember, I have plus one at this point. I tried to trap some units, but after some failed force fields, uh, he gets away for now. And behind this, uh, I did finish my Twilight Council. I didn't start plus two or blink just yet. My priority at this point, uh, I realized that he might be getting burrow and going for a huge attack, which I cannot scout now because I use so many force fields. I don't have any way of scouting. I don't have a destination and I don't have an observer. And I cannot detect what he's doing. So the safe thing to do is to get an observer first. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to claim the Watchtower. Again, just playing scare tactics here. I don't really plan on going for an attack. Uh, I'm guessing, of course, that upon seeing this, he's going to be getting a ton of units. 
tries to go for a counter attack here I'm in position time to get a cannon here always nice to have at least one sometimes uh, like I said the Zerg player will get burrow movements and just basically shark some roaches inside of your main if you don't see this and it happens uh, you lose almost automatically every time so now I'm removing some I'm removing some creep but I don't really plan on fighting if he attacks me in a poor position I might be able to fight but I don't have that many force fields and I have mostly zealots I don't have any DPS like stalkers or immortals to fight off his roaches so I just wanted to remove some creep and I thought this is a very easy position to surround for him if he wants to I thought that I had already planned this in my head that he would try and surround me and if he did I would have just recalled that I wasn't able to spot anything just left and that's a little bit sloppy for me I definitely should have sent another hallucination earlier on because nobody is ever going to be getting only roaches and if he had he would have already been uh, aggressive with them so now again it's decision time I see a queen dropping some crypt tumor do I try and go for it and risk being surrounded he's probably baiting me to go in this position or do I play it safe and keep the watchtower so now I see how many roaches he has and I know I can't take on, uh, this army head on with what I have because it's mostly zero sentries so I'm gonna need stalkers and immortals that's exactly what I'm getting getting blink and plus two as well and saturating my third base now I do spot some of these swarm hosts and I know that he's gonna be basically pushing in his position so I need to start uh, choosing how I'm gonna counter this and uh, my my first reflex is to get a robo bay which I was already gonna do anyway for uh, Colossus and I get a war prism as well I feel like this is good to do a lot of the time while you're getting the robo bay you get a war prism because when this robo bay finishes you're gonna need to make uh, Colossus and you can't afford starting some war prism w once this is finished you need to me be making Colossus continuously so if you make this before it's gonna line up pretty well with your robo bay finishing and he's gonna give me the ability to start dropping in his main do some harass remember he has only roaches and he's taking to swarmos right behind this so he's not gonna have anything to counter a flying unit like a war prism so now he was a little bit out of position and got force fielded out of position losing some roaches I don't mind obviously I go for a dark shrine which uh, I'm not sure it's the best choice here maybe a second robo for getting a lot of colossus would be better but I still do go for it and I'm sending that first war prism I didn't warp four extra zealots because I already have a lot of zealots and you don't have you don't want to have that many versus zerg uh, when they are going for roaches and swarm host so I picked up some uh, of the four that I already had and by the way behind blink I'm going to be getting charged right away because it's going to be important here with those war prism arrows to have charge on those zealots so I drop this in his main my dark shrine not uh, yet finished and I go for this base I know that he's pushing over here I know that he's, there is a good chance he did not see this coming on time and I'm going to be focusing on this base killing this base and this one he manages to burrow one of the swarmers on time I have a bunch of force fields here but I wasn't sure how many I had exactly and you see by the way he sent some swarm out of position which I'm gonna snipe now I, s I didn't know that these locusts were gonna expire soon otherwise I would have just pulled back and I also wasn't sure if he had maybe some hydralisk behind some corruptors some queens so I, I picked the safe option because if I get my mothership core killed here I'm completely trapped with my army and a lot of the time even if I can just basically go back through this pass I'm gonna lose a lot while on the way back so I picked the safe option I recall here this is very important because I want to get right back to work with the counter attacks I'm guessing that upon recalling uh, he doesn't have vision but he, he guesses I either I can recall only on three bases and if by accident I recall here or here I'm gonna take a very long time to get over here and start the counter attacking so he's gonna get right back to work and send in some locusts onto my third base and in the meantime I keep up the the work as well with some dark templars in every base these are not gonna do much sadly but uh, at least some zealots in the main do confirm he's remaking it which was obvious these zealots here are going to be able to kill some drones as well and the war prism I mean he has no counter to this just his queens can attack air that's it so even though he's maxed out now he's in a very weird situation because he, he wants to push this base but I'm forcing him to go back and to send his, his locusts back home so he has a very good reaction to this by the way a lot of players would have really struggled to defend against uh, my Dark Templars and Zealots. He leaves some roaches and overseers on each of his bases so that I cannot snipe them, you see? So right now I thought that this was really, really smart and it was, it was going to be hard to deal with. So now I attack this base and I want to try and do as much damage without losing anything uh, as possible. So 
He sends back his roaches. He had very good unit split this game in reaction to all of, of my harass. And I do end up sniping some roaches, not losing too much here for it. But I think with better micro and better positioning, you see now I have like everything in that one group. Maybe if I put the Mothership Core on follow on my one of my immortal, and now I had force fielded this way before I got here, this way and this way, I would have been able to snipe the hatchery and then pull back, which is a big deal because even though he's maxed out, he's gonna need a bank for later on. And also he's maxed out, we can look at it. He has 25 Zerglings, um, 27 Roaches and 20 Swarm Hosts. So as scary as it is, I mean, he has more army supply than me. This is not the best army that you can get. If I'm able to get better tech unit with some Colossus, some Templars, I'm gonna be in a good position, I think, to to take a fight, possibly, even against 20 Swarm Hosts. If I storm this Locust one or two times, then I can take a fight. So my plan behind this is to get a good Colossus count. I know that this base is gonna be gone soon, so I sent the probes back into my Nitro. And in the meantime, I'm gonna to try to expand somewhere else. Uh, my first attempt was over here. I, I missed it here in the replay, and he sniped it. Uh, with some zerglings because i think he had an overlord yeah i watched the replay later on to see this so my second my next attempt is going to be over here and now this is very important i need to throw down a pylon very quickly and then i'm going to be able to warp in zealots if he sends zerglings again roaches they will take a very long time to get on this side of the map and he doesn't have enough roaches to defend all these four bases plus attack this one and have overseers everywhere or at least i think so remember i have a dark shrine so Wherever I see a weakness in his unit positioning, aka there is no overseer, I'm gonna warp in one or two Dark Templar to, to basically clean up. I got some units here out of position. That's always good news. And my Mothership course is still escorting my army. I'm trying to be very active with it. And on the other side of the map, of course, uh, I'm gathering a lot of Colossus because I do plan on uh, engaging this army at some point. I'm gonna have to. Or at least I need to keep on going around and dealing with these locusts sometimes. So this is a good option for defending the locusts that keep that are gonna keep on streaming in. He has a lot of roaches here, I notice. With some good force field, I'm able to do a bit more damage. And I'm gonna get out before this gets ugly. And uh, you see, this was very close with the mothership core. If this had died, uh, my army would be trapped and die. So it was right on time. And it opened up for some Dark Templar harass because he had to come back with all of his roaches to defend against these. I had a lot of units and I had four shields, so he has, he has to be very careful. I end up sniping his main here again. The Spire is gonna follow. This is bad news for him. And again, he, he still doesn't have any counter to to this Warprism. Obviously, I, I know he wants to get Corruptors at this point. That's why he was trying to get the Spire. I don't think he wants to go for Mutas. I didn't think he had the gas because he didn't have enough gases. I've uh, been sniping his bases many times. So now, he went for some fungals plus locust uh, against my colossus and stalker force, but uh, it didn't. He didn't do that much. He traded some of these important infestors for some stalkers and all that. So not not the best trade for him. So I've finally set up uh, this base over here, and I sent a lot of probes there from my main, which was mined out. And now I'm fully mining on two bases still. I have a pretty strong army with all the Colossus. I'm not maxed out yet, but if you look at my army supply, 104 against 145, he still has no anti-air, so I can just keep going around, harassing, and I remain my Mothership Core uh, upon losing it, by the way. Which is gonna be very important, because I want to have that capability to recall if I get in trouble. Now, this is very important. I'm scouting his unit positioning. And remember, I don't have recall just yet here, but he has to be careful, because Look at this amount of Colossus. I can just basically kill all of these Swarm Host uh, or Locust very quickly. And behind this, uh, he's not going to have anything to tank for his Infestors to get in and do the damage they want to do. So now, I reposition. I know he's probably over here. Uh, I wanted to try and remove some creep. I have an Observer wi with my army, which is very important. So I'm going to try to claim the Watchtower. And now he goes again for some Fungals, but he gets blocked by his own locust, so he trades two infestors here for quite a bit of army but I don't really care about losing stalkers, uh, I can replace them they are expendable at this point, but his infestors are going to be very important because you know he doesn't have unlimited gas and if we look at these two bases, they have been sniped so he's on this one that doesn't probably doesn't have much gas left you see 800 and 800, he's on this one which by the way one of these geysers got sniped and I, um, I had to be guessing he was taking this one now, I had it on my mind so I'm gonna keep on going around and harassing and this war prism still goes uncontested. Completely uncontested. 
So now my natural is my data. I only have one base completely mining. So ob obviously I'm going to be trying to secure another one with all these probes. It wouldn't make sense not to. And I find some roaches out of position. Which of course I'm going to be pretty happy about. I do snipe some of them. I don't know what this guy was doing here but uh, he ended up having to run. And again, like I said, I go around, I knew he was going to be taking this base. I was denying those bases at bottom with the one war prism over here. And now I find out that he's got a whole bunch of corruptors since he snipes uh, my Colossus over here. But I know he's completely out of position with his entire army as well. So I'm going to go for an attack on this one base over here, which he has to evacuate. And now if we look at his position, he has no mining base. This one is mined out. These have been sniped. He's in a pretty bad position because he has to attack these bases. They are mining. I'm getting money right now. I'm going to be making more units. I'm going to be maxing out and even adding a bank if he doesn't do anything. So he ends up going for some fight here. But I pull uh, away from this locust attack and uh, I target these corruptors as much as possible. You see, I've, I have almost more colossus than stalkers. So my, the priority here for me is to keep on making stalkers to be able to help these Colossus, be strong and defend uh, against Corruptors. So now I see a lot of Roaches over there. Too much for just few Stalkers and Dark Templars to defend. If he had an Overseer, which I wasn't sure about. So I end up having to come back with my entire army. And now he knows that. So he's going to do the same thing as before when I ended up having to recall. He's going to position himself here, which I see exactly here. He snipes my Mothership Core. Now I knew there was nothing I can do. So I used the double time warp. Might as well. This could buy me some very important time. And I'm not going to lock myself in there. This is very important. I'm leaving myself options. I'm going to go around again. And in the meantime, I know that he probably doesn't have much at home because he's going for a huge attack here. He's hoping for me to commit to a fight here. That's all he wants. He wants me to fight against Locus, to fungal me, and for the Corruptors to do their job and kill the Colossus. But uh, I don't want to let that happen. So now he very smartly sends back the Swarm Host, which I saw. And in the meantime, Big Zealot and... Uh, Dark Templar warpings are going to be able to do a ton of damage across the map. This is w some of his last few buildings here, by the way. So he ends up going for a huge attack on my Colossus with his Corruptors. He kind of lost patience here. He realized that uh, I was a lot more mobile than him. And I was using that very, very well to my advantage. So he ended up trading a lot of these Corruptors for my Colossi. But he lost a ton of them. And now he finds himself in a position where basically he has... This few building left. Four spine crawlers. All of these uh, buildings over here which are about to die. And that's it. And drone wise. He has a bunch of drones out on the map. But not much money. He could make uh, one hatchery and a few extractors. That's it. So he was, he was attacking this base with some roaches. But I defended immediately with Dark Templars. And some zealots as a reflex. And I, as much as this one is basically taken out at this point. I'm still mining quite a bit from this one. So I can I can still warp in a lot of Zeros. I could take these gases over here. Uh, I even have some units here. I didn't lose my core in all the, in all this time. And yeah, he's just in a really bad position. He has one Overseer, which is out of position. At this point, I'm pretty sure he didn't even know about it because he's just so far out of position. So the game is basically over at this point. I was able to outmaneuver him throughout the entire game by just not committing to a huge attack. And uh, I never let him set up a good enough static defense for him to be able to win so now he knew that he knew that he his last few buildings were those he knew that he was even revealed so there was no way uh, he could hide something so he just tapped out and uh, i took the victory in this game so i hope this is going to help you versus swarm host this is a different way to look at the game uh, when playing against them and uh, give me some feedback in comments so I can know what you think and uh, if you have your own way of dealing with swarm host and you think it's better voice that as well so I can know and maybe learn something thank you for watching and see you guys later